the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 65, Deuteronomy 18 to 21. Those who fear go home. God promised that the Israelites would be victorious during the battle to take over Canaan even before it began, and told them of the ordinance for them to keep upon entry. First point. A kingdom of priests started with Moses and ended with John the Baptist. All jobs start in the market, but the exception was the job of a prophet. The prophet's job was to be God's spokesperson and also to pray for the Israel nation. After making the covenant with the Israel people, God started to send his prophet whenever they strayed away from his word. The first prophet for a kingdom of priests was Moses, and the last was John the Baptist. Later on, Jesus said that he did not come to abolish the law or the prophets. Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have not come to abolish them, but to fulfill them. At the time, there were people who thought Jesus came as a prophet of God. It is important for us to understand that the last prophet was John the Baptist, and Jesus was the one who came to fulfill the law and the prophet. Second point, in a case of unintentional manslaughter, the people were able to flee to the city of refuge. In order to explain the city of refuge, Moses used an example. This is the rule concerning anyone who kills a person and frees there for safety, anyone who kills a neighbor unintentionally without malice of full thought. For instance, a man may go into the forest with his neighbor to cut wood, and as he swings his ox to fell a tree, the head may fly off and hit his neighbor and kill him. That man may flee to one of these cities and save his life. The cities of refuge as such were designed in the case of accident. Third point. If someone committed wrong, it was an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. A passage in the Bible that still confuses people today is eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But we need to understand that this passage does not focus on revenge, but was intended for prevention and precaution. This was to remind the people that someone else's eye was as precious as their own eye. It was so important that people did not make false accusations about someone else. God said to the people that battles and trials were judged by God. Thus, God was and is still focused on a righteous trial. Therefore, God stressed the importance of righteous trials in a kingdom of priests. But in the Bible, we come across multiple unrighteous trials. To mention two, the first example is the false accusations made concerning Naboth and his vineyard. The second example is Stephen's trial. Bearing this in mind, God stressed an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth so that people would not make false accusations about others. Fourth point, if a soldier's heart was not in his job, he was to return home. When we think about the soldiers who were too afraid and so had to return home, 
we immediately turn to the story of Gideon and his 300 soldiers. But actually, there was something similar before this instant. The preceding instant is Moses and the Mana generation. They, before going to war, had to have faith that God would be with them. To those who were too afraid or were worried about war, Moses made them return home. To those who were willing to fight but had the following conditions, they were excused. Those who had built a new house but had not yet had the opportunity to live in it, those who had planted a vineyard but had not yet tasted the wine, those who were engaged and not yet married, those who were afraid and had a faint heart, those who had been married for less than a year, and the Levites who were practicing their laws. Fifth point. God told the people where God's attention was focused on. God paid a lot of attention to those who went to war, those who were wrongfully killed, and also small details among them. If there is how God clothed the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow, is thrown into the fire, will he not much more close you, you have little faith? God expressed interest even in the bodies in the sky as well as all the small details of people. God even had a scenario prepared for atonement for an unresolved murder. The first was for the elders and judges to go out and measure the distance from the body to the neighboring towns. The second was to take a heifer that had never been walked and had never won a yoke. The third was to lead the heifer down to a valley that has not been plowed or planted, where there is a flowing stream. The fourth was for their in the belly to break the heifer's neck. This was for atonement for an unsolved murder. As such, God's interest has always been focused on humans. God, from the beginning, wanted humans to respect and look after each other. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.